Say go scan and go. My name is Digali Wakwa. She sings. Or you can call me Joanne Shenandoah. I'm a Native American Wolf Clan member of the Oneida Nation Iroquois Confederacy. My family and ancestors have lived on this land for thousands of years. Today, I would like to share with you the story of the Woodland Native people. One way we've come to know about early Native American culture is through artifacts dug up by archaeologists. Artifacts are things like pottery, jewelry, and tools. By exploring artifacts left behind, we can learn a lot about what life was like for the first American people. You may wonder, how did the first Americans come to live on this land? Well, one theory scientists propose is that thousands of years ago, much of the Northern Hemisphere was covered with huge sheets of ice called glaciers. This was the Ice Age. The cold temperatures caused more and more water to freeze and the level of the oceans dropped. When this happened, a land bridge crossing the sea between Northeast Asia and North America was revealed. Bison, caribou, and other large animals crossed over the bridge, and the Asian people who hunted these animals and depended on them to survive followed. The people settled all over North America and formed groups or nations, becoming the first Native Americans. Some of these people settled in the Pacific Northwest. Others settled in the deserts of the Southwest. Still others settled in the Great Plains. And some people traveled east and settled in what is today known as the Northeastern United States, the Great Lakes region, and Eastern Canada. The people settled in deep forests, by lakes, rivers, and streams, and lived off the land. Today we call these people the Native Americans of the Woodlands. Each woodland nation had its own name. They were called the Algonquin, the Iroquois, the Wampanoag, and the Cree. Each people had their own customs. A custom is a special way a group of people do things, but each shared a common bond, their respect for nature. And nature provided everything the Native American people needed to live. Many different nations settled in the woodlands of North America. They all used the forests, its rivers and resources around them to survive and form their own way of life. The trees of the forest provided them with materials to make homes or shelters to protect themselves from the weather and the animals. One type of home some woodland people built were called wigwams. Wigwams were built out of trees and bark from the surrounding forests. They had a rounded roof and were 10 to 16 feet wide. Their round shape protected them from every kind of weather condition, from rain, wind, and snow. Families would build fires inside their wigwams. The fire was used to heat the home and for cooking, too. At the top of every wigwam was a hole for smoke to escape. Wigwams were safe and warm. One or two families called each wigwam their home. Other woodland people built homes that could hold several families. They lived in a larger type of house called a longhouse. A longhouse was also built from trees. A longhouse was supported by long poles and covered with bark from the trees. They too, like wigwams, had rounded roofs, but longhouses were much bigger. Some were 300 feet long sometimes even longer. Inside a longhouse, there were many fire pits, which kept the longhouses warm and were used for cooking as well. Above each fire pit, there was a hole in the longhouse roof to let the smoke escape. 